Hey guys, what's up? It's Onan. Uh, we're doing something a little different this time. We're going to actually talk about um, some mechanical differences between Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. As you can see here, I'm connecting to the online in Uncharted 2, which I have not put this disc in since, I believe, last fall in September. Uh, maybe even August. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was August, maybe, but... You might notice a little buzzing sound. Um, that's because I have a less than ideal mic for a live recording, but hopefully it's good enough. Um, I it's early in the morning right now. This is the only time I'm, I would, and I, this is the only time I'm able to do this sort of thing right now uh, today. So uh, what we're going to talk about, what we're going to cover in this, is basically the difference between Uncharted 2's and Uncharted 3's jumping mechanics, and uh, other things that relate to jumping, like grabbing onto ledges and such, um, and uh, <laughs> the we're going to use high rise as the example between the two games because I think that's something people have a common problem with, and it should certainly you know the the thing that'll help the most um, with this is just knowing that there is that difference. Man, this is pretty nostalgic. But anyway, we're going to custom game. I should still have high rise on here. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're going to set it to that. We're going to give myself 30 minutes here, I think. Yeah, we're going to put on deathmatch. I'm going to be villains. What's my villain character like anyway? Oh, it's Flynn. I see. Well, I'm going to be Eddie because... Yeah, that's what I want to do. And then I'll put myself as... I don't know. I forgot how... Um, good the, the skins look. But anyway, um, let's see, I'm just making sure I have everything else set up properly. I don't think there's a way to make it infinite time, so, alright, so we're going to start game, and I'm going to, sh there's, there's going to be things I'm going to show here, and, uh, we're going to start off with the basics, we're going to start off with things that Uncharted 2 does not have that Uncharted 3 has, that Uncharted 3 does better at. Um, Oh man, this loading screen. That's right, I forgot about this thing. Man, I, I remember when I first got this game. It was in the winter. It was just too good. Um, man, so nostalgic. Even though it's only like two years or three years now. Yeah, it's been it's been three years. Almost. Almost three years. It's like two and a half years. But here we are. We're in high rise. And I have my golden AK here. Yeah, I just had that because I'm really good at the pistol. But, uh... Wow, this does feel different. Okay, so first thing you're going to notice between the two games is that the jumping is really freeform and flexible. You can just jump wherever you want on the ground here. Um, this is called, like, what, what players do typically is bunny hopping in Uncharted 2. This is bunny hopping. This is bunny hopping, people. This is not um, in, Char in Uncharted 3 at all. This is completely gone. You cannot do this in Uncharted 3. You cannot, you know, you cannot just, you know, jump back and forth like this, like a maniac, and dodge bullets and do, do this sort of thing. You can't do that. No, that does not work. That you cannot do this. So that's one. That's one of the major differences between the two games here. Um, another major difference. Um, let's see, is how you get onto cover. So like, see how I did that? That is, um, that's in Uncharted Three, but it's much faster. I think I'm pretty sure. And it's like it's not a smooth animation. I think it's it's definitely like it's and it's it, it it comes at a price because it's not as smooth. Um, in Uncharted Three, it's faster. So like and it's it's because it's faster. It's not a smooth animation. And a lot of the things in Uncharted Two is smoother because you know they wanted to give that you know single player experience in the multiplayer by having smooth animations. But the cost of that you have um, you have issues with, uh, you know, surviving and, you know, getting up over the pieces of cover, you know, faster or whatever. And, you know, a lot of things are slightly faster in Uncharted 3. Like, that animation, that animation right there, let me see if I can do that again, is way, is a little bit faster than Uncharted 3. But in Uncharted 2 here, as you can see, it's really smooth and it's laggy. And it, it really screws you up. And in Uncharted 3, they ha they added a little functionality where you'll just hop onto the cover instead of like get into this huge ass lag animation. So that's one thing. This that's that's one major difference between the two games that I think that Uncharted 3 does right 
is that you can jump onto cover and from cover and it'll be a smooth transition. Um, Uncharted 2, it's really clunky in that sense. Like, look at that. Like, you really don't want to be like that when um, you're trying to, uh, you know, avoid. Every time you want to get this animation when you want to avoid, you know, death. Um, so that's, that's that difference there. I mean, it's, it's technically jumping, it deals with the, uh, mechanics, and look how smooth that is, even. Like, go and look at the Uncharted, uh, 3, um, animations for that, Switch stuff, look at that. Like, look how smooth it is in Uncharted 2. Isn't that crazy? But anyway, uh, that's, that's something else entirely. Um, so, we have, we have this construction site here, right? Um, you know, just look at this, you have this construction site, right? Um, there, I, I am, like, 90% certain people have a lot of trouble jumping across, um, places, like, just vaulting over across these gaps, and especially from really high heights. So, one thing that you're gonna notice is, like, how there's that little burst, um, of, like, little jump there, that little burst of height you get. That is different. You don't get a burst of height in Uncharted 3. Um, Uncharted 3, it sort of just kind of just starts you at the same height that you were before, but in Uncharted 2, you kind of gain a little height there. See that? Like, just a little bit. Which is partly why sh some shortcuts, like, most shortcuts work better in Uncharted 2 than they do in Uncharted 3. You can see that burst of height, and then he starts falling down. Um, it's really smooth. Like, I I'm not even kidding. Like, <laughs> you know, looking at this myself now, I'm even noticing this difference here. Like, it's, it feels way, uh, I mean, I think you do get a burst of height still in Uncharted 3, but it just, you know, you, you just, I think you lose that height faster. I, it feels like that anyway. Um, so, there's that. Um, grab, um, ranges are way different. So, like, you, you'll just grab anything in Uncharted 2, like that, like, oh wait, that won't grab, will it? No, it won't grab, okay. Um, you'll just grab anything. Okay, this isn't the best example of grabbing anything. Um, You'll just grab anything like that. See, like you'll you'll be dodging and you'll you'll grab this and you won't even mean to, right? Well, that's because of the grab range in Uncharted 2 to Uncharted 3. Uncharted 3 they reduced the grab range considerably. Um, most importantly, you cannot grab ledges sideways in Uncharted 3. In Uncharted 2 you can. Um, Uncharted 2 you can grab ledges sideways. Um, man, okay. You can, oh man, everything just feels so kind of, it's smoother, but it's just, yeah. anyway, um, you can grab ledges sideways in Uncharted 2, but Uncharted 3, you cannot. Uncharted 3, it's definitely, um, a lot, um, it's not there at all, you just can't do it. So I'm gonna give, give an example here, if I can, uh, I might not be able to, <laughs> it's kind of situational. Um, you have to jump at a certain angle here, let's see here, alright, so... All right. Um, I'm not sure if I can do it from here. Well, we'll see. Oh shit! No, no, no. I'll, I'll have to bleep that out. No. Um, no, you cannot. Uh, you can't. I, I, I that was a bad example. Um, I kind of figured I wouldn't be able to get the right angle. Um, it's kind of a tricky angle to get. I think I can do it from here, maybe. Like, see how I grabbed it sideways right there? You can't do that in Uncharted 3. You'll miss that ledge. Like, um, the, in, in another, another example that would be good to make is, uh, uh-oh, it might be blown up. I hope it doesn't get blown up. Please don't get blown up, because I'm just going to use you as an example right now. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Okay. Oh, oh, damn it. Yeah, oh, shit. It blew up. <sighs> oh, my God. Why did it blow up? Well, I was going to show... I guess I could restart. Yeah, let's just restart. I'm gonna show it again. That's one thing I don't like um, in Uncharted 2. You can't turn off the hazards or whatever you want to call them. They're cool events, but if I want to do something like this, it's really not ideal. But anyway, you cannot grab the ledges sideways in Uncharted 3. That's why a lot of things in High Rise are really screwed up. Um, and it's realistic, sure, to not grab stuff sideways, but from a game standpoint, it doesn't, it, it hurts. It hurts the gameplay. And that's a big problem. <laughs> like, that is, that is not good. So let's go back to that part. And um, I'm just going to show this just to show you that in Uncharted 3, 
you will miss this ledge. Um, I forget which side it is on, so I'll, I'll do both sides. This is, by the way, one of the shortcuts, but it's not doesn't really involve any jumping, and people already know about it, so it's not really a uh, you know a major shortcut. But man, man, this game does feel quite a bit slower paced, but I don't really care. Um, so I get over to here, and you can what? Okay, so not on that side. Okay. Okay, I thought you could grab it on that side. Well, maybe it's the other other side. Okay, so I'll just get back over there. You know, you guys can just see these comparisons here. Um, you know, I, I, it's been a while since I played this, so yeah. Uh, don't don't blame me if I've forgotten what you can grab and what you can't. Um, so we get over to here, and I believe right here, I think this is the right one. Yes, this is the right one. You'll grab onto this. You should be able to grab onto the board right here in Uncharted 2. And I'm pretty sure in Uncharted 3 you do not grab it. But I could be wrong. We're going to look at that in a little bit here. Um, so we're going to go up here. And again, and we're going to go on the other side here of this uh, board. We're going to go to the second one. And we're going to see which one he grabs. Okay, he can land on that. Okay, he can land on that. Let's keep that in mind. Eddie can, lag, can land on that board there. I don't know if that's true in Uncharted 3. Um... I haven't tested all the boards in Uncharted 3. I only go on the one that I know that works in Uncharted 3. So now we're on this side, and we're going to drop down. And wow, uh, if, if he... See how he grabs sideways, though? That's an example of grabbing sideways. That is an example right there. If you go back and look at that... In fact, let's just go up there again and demonstrate that again, because he grabbed that sideways. If he hadn't grabbed that sideways, he would have missed, and I would have died again. We would have had to wait another 10 seconds for me to respawn. Um, so that's an example right there. I can show a better one if you got, uh, uh, obviously, but this is just like a quick one. So, see how he grabs sideways right there? See, look at that. There you go. Two examples right there. You grab sideways in Uncharted 2. Uncharted 3, you don't. The grab ran ranges are significantly, significantly um, down, like they're decreased in range significantly because of that. And a lot of, you know, a lot of the jumps just do not work. Um, so anyway, uh, what's a good example? Let's see. I think around here I can potentially show one. Um, let me get over to here and uh, try to grab something sideways. Hmm. 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 Well, actually, I think I, think I can do it. Oh shit, no, that's, no, oh, I'll have to bleep that up too, but, uh, or maybe not, I don't know, um, that was messed up, that wasn't what I wanted, um, okay, so, alright, maybe I won't have to edit that, um, anyway, you guys, okay, so, like, trying to get the right angle here, uh, I know there's a certain angle you can get in Uncharted 3, and I don't know if I can get that with Uncharted 2 right now, because I'm so used to Uncharted 3. Um, okay. Um, Alright, so if I jump at, like, this angle, I still get it because it's not sideways. It's not what I want to show. Um, yeah, I think I cannot get this angle, like, the way I want to, because... It depends on um, how I'm facing and like the direction I'm pushing the joystick, so it's kind of difficult. Yeah, see, yeah, he grabs there. I think he would have grabbed there in Uncharted 3. Um, again, you know, um, there's there's some other stuff here. If I can just get it, I mean, you guys you guys would know where the 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 horrors, the the sideways. Um, grab range would matter. You guys know. You've probably been in those situations in Uncharted 3. So, um, I might not even need to show how that can happen. Um, because I just, like, it's kind of obvious where it can happen on this map. Um, like, if you're jumping from a really high spot and, uh, you completely flub it up or something like that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I go up here and I swear to God, there is a certain spot where you cannot, like, you get this certain angle and you just don't grab or something like that. Oh, 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 please, 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 please. Yep, there you go. There you go. Now, we're going to try and go in that same angle 
in Uncharted 3, and you guys are going to see that I'm going to completely miss that ledge. Um, if I happen to grab it, it's because I have the right angle. But, I'm going to completely miss that ledge in Uncharted 3. How do I know this? Because I have played on High Rise a bunch of times to know that you, could, you do not grab those ledges sideways at all. And that's another reason why you don't grab everything randomly. Um, I think... I think that's pretty much it for, uh, I mean, I'm going to go on village here. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, grab range decrease. Um, it's nice that we have all these ma these same maps in Uncharted 3 because I can do these direct comparisons um, instead of arbitrary, instead of ones that, um, instead of like made up ones. Okay, so let's go to village and we're going to go to that side where the gal is on this map. And I'm sure all of you have been in this situation before on this side of the map. Don't don't tell me you haven't been, because this game has been out for a long time. And I'm sure everybody that is subscribed to this channel knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm also going to go over the, sh the shortcut here, and we're going to do a quick comparison of that too in Uncharted 3. It'll be like a sort of introduction to that sort of thing. But, uh, alright, so, look at this map, man. In the rain. Looks so badass. But anyway, uh, so it's on this side, right? You're jumping, you're jumping, you're jumping, you're trying to avoid people, and you just randomly grab that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Nope. I didn't mean to do that! Whoop. I didn't mean to do that! Whoop. Or, like, your character will just randomly grab onto it because you're... See, look at that. Like, he'll grab onto it, and it, you know, you're just dodging, right? You're just dodging. Like, that's what'll happen. You'll dodge. Um, it's not as bad as, you know, I'm making it out to be. But, yeah, and then he'll grab there, too. Like, I mean, if you if you vaulted from this piece of cover here. Um, and he might grab that. And, you know, there's those situations like that where he'll grab it. Um, right there he wasn't. I don't know. I, I've had it where he has grabbed it like that, though. But, um, yeah, that's just a quick, like, example. Like, this is the area I'm referring to. And we'll go into Uncharted 3, and I'll show that. Um, you can already tell that grab range is, is significantly decreased because of this, this not being able to grab sideways anyway, guys. So, um, all right. So we're going to go, and I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to make this comparison here, all right? Uh, it's been a while since I've, since I've done this on Uncharted 2. But um, everybody knows this shortcut, right? Everybody knows this. Everybody has used this as, the, as any example in um, when showing the... Uh, the ghost collision or whatever. Um, so you go off of here like, oh, well, it's been a while since I've, since I've done this. Um, it's it's not it's not that hard. I just haven't done it in a while. So like, oh, that that I haven't done it for a while. That 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 that. Okay. There. See, he'll grab it right there. But you can go much farther than that. I think you can go a little bit farther, and uh, you can. No, well, I keep grabbing that, but you can grab the top part there. Um, <clears throat> I keep grabbing it. Oh my god! Come on, I want to grab the top because I know you can in this game. Come on. There we go. There we go. See that? There you go. How? See how easy that is? Like that is way easier than Uncharted Three. Um, Uncharted Three, you have to go way deeper than that. Just, just watch. Like. I don't even really... You don't even see me really go off the platform much, do you? No. Like, you you literally just take one more step off the platform and you jump across. Uncharted 3, it's like they let you ha they let you take three steps off and then you can jump across. Um, so yeah, and you know, that also probably has to deal with the difference in uh, the burst of height you get when you jump like that. Like that. <clears throat> And again, I'm going to grab that because of my angle. Um, angle has a lot to do with it, too. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the shortcuts. Um, and that's sort of an introduction to that stuff right there. So, uh, I will see you guys in Uncharted 3. We're going to switch over to that now. Okay? All right. All right, guys, we're in Uncharted 3 now. I'm connecting, and we're going to lo look at the same stuff. We're going to go on to High Rise... We're gonna, I'm going to show you how bunny hopping does not work anymore. Um, and it's going to be great because you guys are going to see exactly the differences between the two games. And you're going to get it. You're going to be like, wow, how did Naughty Dog screw this up? Or like, how, how did they think that was a good idea? Um, because 
decreasing the, the grab range by effectively making it impossible to grab sideways has its cons and its pros. The pros, you don't grab stuff you don't want to. The cons, you miss certain jumps you make. It's less forgiving, um, which is a big deal. And you know, frustrates people on high rise on a map like high rise. Come on, guys! Like this is this is a, the map from Uncharted 2, and now it's in Uncharted 3, and it's not as good. Um, one th reason why I didn't go over the monkey bar problem is because um, it's in Uncharted 2 it works all the time, but Uncharted 3 there it ha it's like there's some certain jump that you make. And I just didn't want to go over it because really, the thing is, the difference between the two games is that the monkey bar section in Uncharted 3 is smaller than Uncharted 2. Um, they made it smaller for some reason. Uh, and I could go back and do a quick look at that too, but I think you guys can do that yourselves. Um, if you need me to, maybe when I go and do um, the shortcut video, I can potentially throw that in there as a bonus. Um, comparison but right now we're focusing on the mechanics the mechanics is what's important this is what this is what introduces you to the idea of doing shortcuts um, because it takes a lot of you know thinking you 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 get these sort of ideas to, you know just running through your mind like oh I can use this mechanic to get up to this height so let me turn down the music volume here uh, just a little bit because it's kind of loud and it's giving me a bit of a headache because this is how early in the morning I'm doing this thing. Um, so we want custom game. I'm gonna put it on high rise. Where is high rise? Oh, that's right, it's up here. High rise. Okay, and we're gonna uh, set the uh, time to 30 minutes, just like Uncharted 2. And no power plays because we're not in you know a stoop. No ch treasure chest. This stuff is annoying. Um, yeah. So, all right. So we're set now. Um. I'll be my top hat Drake, sure, whatever. Um, so we're going to start this game up here. It's going to take a little bit to load. While it's loading, I just want you to, to note right off the bat like what the difference is between the animations, the bunny hopping, the, um, the speed. The speed. Uncharted 2, as you noticed, is definitely a lot more, it's a lot more sluggish. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, guys. It's okay, because that game was really well paced for a long time. So, first thing you're going to notice is look at the default speed. Look at the running speed here. Like, you notice that, how, like, you know, and then look, this is the bunny hopping. This is, this does not work. Notice it. It does not work. See that? You can't, you can't spam left and right like I could in Uncharted 2. It's not as free. Um, it's not. Now, you can do it in one direction, technically speaking. You can do it like this in one direction, but it doesn't work as well still because you still stumble. See this stumble here? Like, it only stumbles if you do another jump. See? But if you do one jump, you don't stumble. Well, well... Okay, it's if you're holding forward as you're jumping. Like, if you're holding forward and you don't hold forward at the end, he'll stay in place. But if you keep holding forward, you stumble. And that's how they stop you from bunny hopping. That's how they add that lag. Because they know you're holding forward um, to jump. So, and to keep jumping. Letting go keeps you in place like that, and you suffer lag too. So, there's, there's your bunny hopping. It's not in the game. Whoever says bunny hopping is in the game, no, you're wrong. It's not in the game. It doesn't work. The only way you can feasibly dodge in this game is if you mix between rolling and jumping like this. See? See how I'm switching here? See how see how well that works? How you know that's intentional is because you can f cancel the stumble animation there from the jump with a roll. Um, and it works really well. And yeah, it's very it, it's very natural. Now, we're gonna get to the jumping. See how he, like, gains no height? Like, he, there's no burst of height. Like, he, you, you, he kind of does get a, you know, a height difference, but it feels like it's, it's faster in that sense. Like, it's, you, you're sort of jumping across a little faster. Um, it definitely doesn't take as long. Um, and there's that. See that there? There's that. Yep, that's that specific animation I was talking about. Now see how much faster this animation is? 
See how much smash faster that animation is? Um, now I'm gonna... I don't even know if that animation exists anymore, does it? It's kind of difficult to trigger. Um, yeah, it's... They kind of replaced the laggy animation. There you go. See, now that's a little faster. Um, it's not as smooth, but it's it's there, and it doesn't really ever happen. It's it's sort of a pointless animation when you have this thing. When you have this animation here, it's a pointless animation. It only punishes you for doing it, jumping from too far away. Like, hold on, let me get that again. Oh, man, darn it. Okay. Oh my God, I had the right. Okay. Well, oh, you're not gonna. There, there we go. See, it's a little faster, just a little faster. Um, not by much, but you can tell it lost some of the smoothness between the two games, and that's because they realized that animation was took too long. It didn't need to be that long at all. Um, it could be shorter and look less smooth in order to benefit gameplay when it does happen, um, which is rare because they added this because they added this mechanic to the game. This mechanic to the game adds so much to um, shortcuts. You guys won't even believe it. Like, it creates some really interesting shortcuts for Uncharted 2 maps and for Uncharted 3 maps. There's a lot less shortcuts in Uncharted 3 maps than Uncharted 2 maps, but that's besides the point. Um, it's a great mechanic. It's awesome. It's what, it's what helps the, the airplane sequence work and so on. Um... As I'm sure in the beta, in the summer beta, you guys noticed that it didn't work quite perfectly, and you would always, almost, like, almost most of the time, you would probably get uh, that animation I showed earlier, which would be, uh, oh my god. See, this is so difficult to trigger because the range for that little jump, um, that little hop, is so far. Like, look how far that goes, like, every time. Like, look, I don't, I, I, I'm telling you, like, I have to, oh my god. Oh, God. You know which animation I'm talking about already. I already showed it off like two or three times. Come on. Ah, oh, too soon. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, too soon. Ah, oh, still too soon. I'm trying to do it within the range where it won't trigger. And it's so difficult. I know it. Ah, oh, okay. You guys know what I'm talking about. I can't get it to trigger. It's that finicky. That See, that's that's the good thing about it, though. You don't get that animation much at all now. They made the the trigger range of that little hop really far. Um, you know, it makes it difficult for me to do this video because of it, but you guys saw it. So anyway, um, the next thing to show is probably the, um, the, thank goodness this doesn't blow up anymore, the uh, construction site um, place here. So we're going to do each side again. And you don't grab. Now, in Uncharted 2, I think I had grabbed that little ledge there right by the, the, the wood, wood there, the wooden board. Um, I grabbed that sideways. And notice how I didn't grab it sideways in this. Oh, crap. That's the other thing. Like, it feels like they just, you know, whatever. Oh, man. I'm doing this video way too early in the freaking morning, guys. Oh, my God. I'm getting a headache. But, uh... Okay, so then, here's this one. Here's this side. See, now he grabs just fine on this side. Okay, so so far, so so good, right? So far, Drake has, has grabbed pretty much the same stuff he could grab in Uncharted 2. Um, so now we're going to go over here again, and we're going to go on this side. And he lands, which, that was odd. How did I... Okay, well, I think that was the side that he landed on in Uncharted 2, so it works the same. Um, there. But it was a little weird how I landed on the uh, metal plate there. I might just do that again just to see what the heck happened. Did I get pushed by the bar there or what? Like, I did it in the middle here. Okay, yeah, I landed here. Okay, so it's the same spot. Somehow I got pushed by the, 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 pil the little uh, support beam there. But anyway, uh, going back up here and doing the last one. The last one was on the other side of that board. And in Uncharted 3, and I mean, in Uncharted 2, I had grabbed, it grabbed sideways, and I don't. There you go. There you go, guys. See? I told you. I didn't grab it. I didn't grab it sideways. What did I tell you? I wasn't going to grab it sideways. They removed it completely from the game. 
You cannot grab sideways ever in Uncharted 3. Ever. So, next time you go to jump somewhere and you, you, you want to make sure you're always facing forward. Always. Never sideways. Never. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ever. No. Because you're just going to wind up missing. You're just going to wind up missing. And, you know, um, they, they made the angles of, of your jumps more flexible in that sense to avoid that issue from occurring as often as it, as it can, but people have it happen anyway, and they get frustrated on this map, and I totally understand, guys. I totally do. I've had it happen to me, and it pisses me off, too. And, you know, people weren't sure, why, why is it like this? Well, you guys now have the reason why it's like this. You guys now know. Is it possible Naughty Dog could patch it? Sure. Sure they could. I'm sure the coding's in the game still. I'm sure they still are capable of, of patching that in. It's just whether or not you guys want to have jumps interfere with your general movement while you're on the map. Because grabbing sideways means you can grab anything when you're jumping around on the ground. The reason why they removed it, in my opinion, like in theory, uh, I'm not really sure, is because um, of the complaints with grabbing nearly everything in Uncharted 2. And they wanted to make that less of a frustration. But the problem is they've created more frustrations by... Uh, you know, um, removing it because you can't grab stuff sideways. Um, now, I think I did it from this height before. Yeah, and because there's sprint, I'll, I'll probably definitely make this jump, I think. Oh, shoot. No, I won't. Okay, so I screwed up there. I think I did it more close, closer to the wall in Uncharted 2. I'll have to go back up there and do it again. Um, I mean, I don't really need to demonstrate this again, but... See, I think what happens here on this monkey bar is that people are jumping, like, really late, and so then they... Yeah, like, you'll bump it instead of grabbing like that. See how I can grab like that? In Uncharted 2, you were always forced to jump. You were always forced to jump in Uncharted 2. Um, but because the, this area is effectively smaller, um, you know... It, you you have chances of uh, higher chances of bumping the bar, but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back in Uncharted 2 and, and get that out because <laughs> guys, it's a pain in the butt for me to switch discs here, so I'm not gonna do that again. Um, so I was closer to the wall in Uncharted 2 here, I believe. Yes, yes, I was. I was like right. Oh crap. Well. I guess you can tell from that I didn't grab anything sideways. But I'm just trying to show a, a general example of grabbing sideways, like jumping, you know, not just letting go of ledges. But just by seeing letting go of ledges, you now know, hey, I shouldn't let go of that ledge here. You now, you now know how to approach a certain situation. Oh, crap. I didn't jump. Wow. I didn't jump. I was going to jump. I had the right timing and everything, but I just screwed up. <laughs> now I'm used to Uncharted 2's timing for jumps. Great. See what you guys have done to me for this video. See what I do for you guys. I my timing's all screwed up. Actually, no, that's not true. I think I think the timing is way easier to get used to in Uncharted 2. I don't know. It just feels uh. Oh! Darn it! There's something different about the freaking wall there, like the collision. There's something different about it. It's not letting me jump side jump you know sideways from there. Okay, they spawned me right here. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty beneficial. Um, oh, man. I have this screeching headache right now, guys. I'm going to have to give it ibuprofen after this video before I do anything else. Um, right, so... I think I can... I, I'll, let, me, let me let my uh, sprint recover, and I'm just going to jump. I'm going to try and line it up so I jump off this essentially sideways. Oh! Zip line. This might not be the best place to do it. Um, hmm. 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 Yeah, I don't really know how I can do this sideways. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, no, he'll just do the little hop. See, see what I mean by the range increase of that hop? It's gigantic. Um, really is. I mean, it's such a, it's, it's, it happens, guys. You know, you guys miss the, 
the ledge because you can't grab sideways. It's just, and the angle is really large too. Like it's not just pure sideways. Any sort of like diagonal angle that, you know, has your hand literally reaching out to the ledge there, but you don't grab it is because they, because it recognizes it as a sideways angle. That's why. Um, if I can just, if I can just freaking do it here. Urgh. I remember there was a certain jump I made that I wanted to give an example of, but I just, you know, I just couldn't do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go. 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 All right, there. I got it. I got it. Saw that? You guys saw that? See how my hand touched the wall there? It touched the wall, but it didn't grab. There you go. There you go. There's your example. There's your example of a situation where you're jumping and you completely just miss that ledge. And it was because you were facing, you were sideways. It makes sense realistically, but this is a video game. And it's trying to, you know, they're trying to, you know, mitigate issues and whatnot. But the, 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 the sad truth and the sad reality is that um, it creates more frustrations than it fixes. Um, I'm pretty sure people would be way more open to, I'm pretty sure people would trade off um, evasion maneuvers functioning perfectly for for uh, jumping across gaps and grabbing ledges perfectly. I'm pretty sure people would choose the, the latter option, latter meaning the second one. Um, because, I don't know if I can get that angle again. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm screwing up on the angle, but you guys, I'm trying to do it again here. I'm just trying to show you a second time. So you can so you can get an idea of oh I shouldn't you know I shouldn't jump like that again or anything I shouldn't do that um, yeah you shouldn't <laughs> it's not a good idea um, okay I got I gotta line this up here so I okay I got it I got it see Uncharted two I would have grabbed that um, sure it's not from the same exact spot as I did in Uncharted two but that's because the collision on that wall there is being very finicky and not letting me. Uh, get on a certain get off jump off a, from a certain distance there and that and the zip line is in the way so you guys have to forgive me there um now what else was there to show again i showed the jumping cover stuff that stuff you know you guys are already familiar with for the most part um see that like how it's the closer animation there is even a little faster too like you can tell it, it, it could also be the same length um i i could be wrong I'm pretty sure you're slightly more laggy in Uncharted 2. Everything in Uncharted 2 animation-wise is slightly more laggy because it's smoother animation. They spent a lot more time on those animations. And you guys love... Ev everybody that's an Uncharted fan loves the animations. The attention to detail. But in multiplayer settings, those details have to be sacrificed for f uh, fluent gameplay. You know, fluid, fluid gameplay, not fluent. Fluid gameplay, excuse me. <laughs> It's early, guys. It's early. Um, fluid gameplay. Because, yes, it's nice to have really nice-looking animations, but if they make the experience itself um, more frustrating for the player, I think Naughty Dog will opt for... Um, would, would rather opt for um, more enjoyable gameplay. So that's what it boils down to. So I think we're done on High Rise here. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're done. So we're going to leave... And we're gonna go to, go to village here. We're gonna go to village to show that shortcut difference, um, to demonstrate that the burst of height you get in Uncharted 2, and um, because there's no sprint um, in the game, it's not as awkward. And because of grab range, grab range is smaller. Pretty sure. Um, I'm just gonna change my loadout here to show the uh, weapon switch stuff, because I have I have uh, the instantaneous switch. I just want to show that animation off too as an aside, as a bonus, so you guys can see, like, what I'm talking about with animations, um, why they, you know, have cut, cut down on the smoothness, and probably the reason why they don't have the leg, I mean, the, the, uh, the stair, the walk-up stairs animation is for the same reason, um, it creates frustration, because of how much slower you're going up the stairs, you're going up the stairs slower in Uncharted 2 because of that unique animation, and that's something people aren't understanding. So here we are in Village. Now see how quick, how much quicker that animation is? 
Look how much quicker that switch animation is. It's way quicker. Um, and that's without me touching it at all, just like in Uncharted 2. See how quick that is? That's quick because, again, the game itself is, is meant to be a multiplayer experience. You need to be able to access your stuff faster. Um, people don't want to be stuck in an animation, um, you know, pulling something out. So, anyway, so now we're going to go over here. And you're going to go over the same spot. And I'm going to show two things. One, you cannot make this shortcut without sprinting. That is very important. You cannot make this shortcut without sprinting. See, like, watch watch how much deeper I have to go than Uncharted 2. See how deep? Okay, you can make it without sprinting. I'm wrong. <laughs> you can make it without sprinting. But, um, notice how much deeper I had to go to make that jump. Oh, whoop. Um, just by, you know, not sprinting. Um... Yeah, see, look, in Uncharted 2, I would have made that. Uncharted 2, I would have made that jump. It was the exact same timing. But, yeah, again, see? It's like, that was two steps. The other one, the other, the other one was one step. So now we're going to do three steps. Oh, I mistimed it. God darn it. This is way easier with sprinting, by the way. See, that was three steps. You heard the one before I got off the platform... There was a second one in between there, and then there was a third one right after. Uncharted 2, it's just one step off the platform, you jump across. So, now, I'm going to show the sprinting version. This is the sprinting version. See, look how deep I went. Look how deep I went off of that. Let's show it again. Let's show it again. Also, you're seeing a little shortcut there, too. See how I avoid the ladder? Whoop! See, now that was just one step off. One step off, guys. That was one step off. I didn't get anywhere near the uh, ledge there. And that was two steps. Didn't get anywhere near that ledge there. And three. There you go. There you go, guys. That's the shortcut on Village. That's one of the shortcuts, that is. Um... I just showed you the differences between the two games here. This is something the Uncharted community has not done before. Um, this is something I think people should start doing. Um, you know, talking about these kinds of mechanics. Because, frankly, if nobody does the research, you're always going to be upset and complaining about it. Um, in order to make a compelling argument, you need to know what you're talking about. And if you guys want any of this stuff fixed... You have to look into it and research it beforehand. You can't just throw up, um, you know, theorized information. You have to provide some facts. And this is some facts here. Um, you know? Um, that's really it, I mean, for this video. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can show here. Uh, we'll get into shortcuts at a later time. Hopefully, uh, when... Uh, when I have a lot more time to do this because this mechanic stuff this took a little bit to do and I hope you guys really appreciate it because now you know how that how the village shortcuts work I mean how the village shortcut works compared to Uncharted 2 and you also are aware of the fact that you cannot grab sideways you cannot grab sideways so keep that in mind the next time you're hanging off of something and you look down and it looks like you're not gonna grab that ledge don't drop don't drop. You'll die, probably. Um, this, is, has, this has been Onan, and you have just been watching me explain the jumping mechanics in Uncharted 3 compared to Uncharted 2. Later, DTMB.